Uh, at this point, I think everyone in the world knows what Zoom does, right? We do meetings. Some of you know that Zoom does phone as well with eight and a half million subscribers. Some of you might know that Zoom does contact center. A lot of you know probably that Zoom does whiteboards and digital signage and Zoom rooms. Um, they are a full UCAS company, a full CCAS company. They are a multi-CAS company. But what you probably don't know is that Zoom is a productivity company. And, and when I mean productivity, I don't mean in the traditional sense. I don't mean like a Word document like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. I don't mean a spreadsheet like Excel. I don't mean PowerPoint like, um, well, like PowerPoint. Zoom has what they call Zoom Docs, which is a brand new way of looking at and collaborating with documentation in one central place. So think about that. When you are in a Microsoft Teams meeting or Zoom or WebEx meeting and someone shares an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint slide or a Word doc, those are three separate applications and you have to go to three separate places to pull up that document. That might be OneDrive or your local computer, or maybe SharePoint. And then so let's say it's 30 days later and you remember, hey, I remember Bob from accounting shared that one Excel file. Where is that? And Susie and HR shared a PowerPoint slide and your boss shared a Word document all in one meeting. Now you have to remember where all those documents are. Wouldn't it be amazing to have every single document in one place? That's Zoom Docs. It's a collaborative effort to keep everything in one single document. And I mean everything. I mean Word Docs, Excel Docs, PowerPoint Docs, Google Docs, Google Slides, tables, code whiteboards, YouTube videos. Wouldn't it be amazing to have all that in one document? Well, you can, and that's kind of the goal of Zoom Docs. So let's take a little tour of what Zoom Docs looks like today. If you didn't notice, I'm sporting my Zoom Christmas sweater. <laughs> very festive. All right, well, here's here's Zoom. Like, you know this, it's the home screen. You, this is very familiar to probably everyone that's ever used Zoom. But if you look up into the top navigation bar, there's also a little icon that says Zoom Docs. And by the way, if you didn't know this already, you can literally go over here and make, customize your navigation bar. So say you want contacts up here. Guess what? Just drag it up here. Say you don't want uh, whiteboards here. Just drag it over here and drop it in. You can customize this uh, nav bar however you like. But today's demo is documents. So let's click on it. Now, this is all the documents I have. This is the test account. I've never done a document here before, and this will be our first one. So you can see the big blue button says new document. I bet you can't guess we're gonna to click to start a new document. You nailed it. So let's click new document. And now we're gonna do a couple things. Obviously we're gonna title the document. So we'll just call it Zoom Docs Demo. Pretty simple. But now let's see if we wanna add maybe an icon. Let's just add an icon. I always like this ribbon icon. It makes it feel like it's important. Let's go ahead and add a blue ribbon icon. Boom, done. Let's add a cover picture. These are the cover pictures. We can obviously change the cover. Um, and let's do, I, there, I always like this mountain one. This one's kind of cool. All right, so anyway, we kind of give a theme to our document with some increased presentation stuff. I just like to add a picture because it makes it look cool. So now, when we start adding stuff to the document, here's what we're gonna do. On the left side, you can see, we can just hit the add button. So let's click to add something. It could be anything. This could be text right here. Tables, call outs, quotes, but let's just add some text and a heading. Agenda for the day. Let's just say uh, agenda for the day. So we'll add that there. And we don't even have to hit the plus button. We can actually add uh, just a forward slash and we can do anything here to this uh, document. So right now we're gonna add an agenda, but I don't wanna make an agenda. I want AI Companion to make it for me. So let's just have AI Companion create a new agenda. Create a new agenda about how cool elephants are and let's hit go. So let's go back and see what AI Companion came up with. Introduction to elephants, physical characteristics, emotional intelligence and capacity. All these are great items to have an agenda to talk about elephants. Guess what? It would have taken me 30 minutes to come up with this agenda on my own. I could just ask AI Companion to do it and it created this great agenda. We're off to a great start. So let's insert the agenda into this document. All right, cool. So now we got an agenda for a meeting that we've got coming up. That's fantastic. Let's talk about something else. So now let's start adding some more stuff. What if we wanted to give some background on what elephants are and how smart they are and how intelligent they are? Maybe we should just include a cool YouTube video on what elephants do. Let's do it. Forward slash YouTube. There we go. Now let's add a YouTube video. 
Now we have an inline embedded YouTube video on everything about elephants that we can put in there with our agenda. So that way we can give some people background on what we're going to talk about and then a video uh, of what we're going to talk about as well. Let's up it a level. I gave you the agenda. I gave you a YouTube video to watch, but not everybody learns through video. A lot of people learn through reading. So let's create some background on elephants. Let's use AI Companion to create a blog article. Watch this. So let's just write a blog article on everything elephants. So now we have an entire blog article on the magnificent world of elephants from AI Companion. All right, we're done. We looked at, let's pretend we read the whole thing. We didn't, but we just read the whole thing. We're going to keep it, but we can change it if we like. So now I have a complete agenda, a complete YouTube video, a complete blog article on everything elephants. What else can we add? Now say we want to create a whiteboard inside the Zoom document. It's that easy. We'll just hit forward slash whiteboard. We can select an existing whiteboard that we already have in our repository. We can do mind maps and flow charts, but let's just create a blank whiteboard about elephants. And once again, I don't want to create this whiteboard by myself. I hate a whiteboard that's a blank canvas because it, I have a hard time coming up with a bunch of ideas. But what if we just ask AI Companion to come up with an elephant whiteboard? And now we're going to say, hey, create 10 cool things about elephants. And we'll just generate some stickies. There we go. 10 cool things about elephants in sticky patterns. We're done. I don't have to do this myself. It literally just saved me, what, 10 minutes of doing this myself? Now let's embed this whiteboard into the Zoom doc. And just like that, the whiteboard is embedded in the Zoom doc. And by the way, when I say embedded, it's a working example of the whiteboard. I don't have to leave the Zoom doc to adjust this whiteboard. I can do it because it's embedded. Say so I wanted to move these around a little bit. I can do that right from Zoom Docs. Again, allowing me to stay in one application longer to create more productive, effective workflows. Maybe we just want to do an image of an elephant. We can do that too. So I have an image of an elephant right here on my desktop. Let's add it. And now I can resize it if I want to make this a little bit bigger. Again, embedded in the document itself. So we have a picture, we have a YouTube video, we have a whiteboard, we have an agenda, we have a blog. What about an audio file? Let's add that to the document. Right here. And now this sound is literally embedded and I can play it right from the doc. <laughs> what if I have a table that I have that I developed that has all the elephant things that are, that are categorized? Let's do that. Forward slash table. I could choose the rows and columns. We'll just do four and four. Now, I don't want to create this table on my own because it would take me a long time. What if I had AI Companion, again, create the whole table for me? I'll show you how to do it. Create a table of cool elephant stuff. That's pretty cool because now all the table is created for me with fun facts about trunks and tusks and intelligence all done for me without me having to do anything other than ask AI Companion to do it. Again, saving me probably 10, 15 minutes of time. We'll insert that and go to the next demo. If I wanted to upload like a file from my computer into the document, I can do that too. Let's do it. Forward slash file. Here we go. Let's upload a file. I'm doing this conference soon. I developed this PowerPoint slide. Let's insert that. Done. So now the PowerPoint slide is now embedded into the Zoom doc. I think you get the point. You could add almost anything to a Zoom doc. Let's take a look at some other options, but I won't do them. Long demo. I can do bulleted lists, numbers lists, to-do list, URL links for web pages. I can add web pages as well. Let's do that. Here's a link. Let's add just ESPN. Save. Done. Notice it's the URL link, but we can also switch it to a web card. Just click on it, go to link and switch it to card. Now you get a preview of the web page. I think you're getting the point. I could add literally almost anything to a web doc. Let's just do a quick little rundown of other things I can add. I can add sub pages, tables, call outs, quotes, web cards, table of contents, emojis, columns. I could add pictures. I showed you that already. Add files. I could add dates and reminders. I could add meeting summaries from past meetings I've even had. If I'm a coder, I could add code to the document. If I'm a mathematician, I can add an equation to the document. I could add Twitter quotes. I could add Figma pages. I could even add Google Docs as well as embedded Google Docs. So hopefully you understand now the power of Zoom Docs and what it can bring to you. It can literally bring a single place for everything you need to do during a project or a meeting, agendas, meeting summaries, blogs, 
pictures, YouTube videos, really anything you probably work on in a project or with a team or a colleague, you can probably embed in a Zoom document. Therefore, you can now associate this document with future or reoccurring meetings. Let me show you that next. So we're back in the Zoom client. We're gonna go to the calendar over here. Let's just create a brand new reoccurring meeting. We'll do this daily at 1.30. I can now add an attachment, which is gonna be my Zoom document. Add attachment, it's gonna be a Zoom doc. And we'll just use that Zoom docs demo that we just created. Add that to event, save that meeting, send it out to whoever you need to send it to. And now everyone in the meeting will have access to that document. Just click on it to open it up. And you can see right here, there's one attachment of the Zoom docs demo. So now everyone in the reoccurring meeting never has to wonder where anything is because it's built into the meeting. That Zoom doc is now attached permanently to that reoccurring meeting, saving everyone time and headache of wondering where all those documents and YouTube videos and quotes and tables were. They're in the Zoom doc associated with the meeting. If you haven't figured out Zoom docs is super powerful and it's kind of the wave of how we're going to be productive in the future. Now you can brainstorm with your colleagues real time. They can go into the document before the meeting or after the meeting, that full meeting life cycle and make updates or edits or review that Zoom doc that's associated with everything in your meeting. Then think about this, after every single meeting you'll have, AI Companion will create a meeting summary. Then you can place that meeting summary into the Zoom doc so it's easily searchable for everyone. If they were to miss that meeting, they can get caught up right from the same spot. No longer do they have to hunt and search for everything. It's in the Zoom doc. So if you haven't figured out, I'm kind of a big fan of Zoom docs. I use it all the time now. I don't use Google Docs anymore to keep my notes or even OneNote anymore. I keep everything in my Zoom doc and then associate it with my meetings. So I hope you learned a little something about Zoom docs today. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd.